go to power ups look for dash cards here it is add it to your board and if you did everything right you now have a new track option on your board and you can see that Trello is suggesting some dash cards here I'm not going to use any of them I'm going to create my own let's click here customize and as you can see here the options are precisely the settings of a Trello card for example assign it due date labels and there are many others here and we can also choose the board and the list okay let's do this I'll use my name here this is the name of the card the title of the card now I'll select here on this board but it can be on other boards it doesn't have to be here this is just to make the video easier to record and on lists I'll select in one off so I'll select the lists I want let's say stage two stage one and stage three I want these cards assigned it to me but of course you can set them to other members and due date this week I'm not gonna add anything else so let's take a look at it okay the rule is has to be in one of these three lists one of the three stages has to be assigned to me and the due date has to be this week and as you can see there's really only one card that matches that now I'm moving this card D to stage one and take a look at what happens to the the dash card on the dashboard list it changed to two cards an important detail here is that the dash card is just another card if we click it we can add a description members labels due dates anything that we can add to a regular card and like I said before we can even move this card or create this card in a different board but there's more the dash card also creates a list an automatic list of all the cards that match the combination that we created for the dash card so we can even go to any of those cards in this example here we have card D and card C if I click here I can now check any information on card D. Because the dash card works just like any Trello card, we can even duplicate it, make a copy of it. So I'm copying this card, but I'm calling it Mr. Fields. Okay. The new dash card has a different name, but the rules are the same. So let me show you how to change those settings. Open the card and explore and add it. And here we can edit filters and let's go to assign it. I'll remove myself and I'll add Mr. Fields and save it. Coincidentally, we have the same number of cards, but let's change this. Let's move this one to done. And it will change soon. And now we have just one card hold on there's more <laughs> maybe the filter you created will end up with too many cards and it will be hard to deal with them in this dash card list inside the card so let's use the explore and edit option again as you can see here we have a sort of a database there are many fields here we can for example hide one we can visualize some of them let's visualize this one as a calendar we can go here to columns and select the ones we want to hide and show complete let's bring back the labels we can even sort by one of the lists but let's bring back the due date it's a better one to sort to visualize what I'm trying to show it's already sorted let's change the order let's use the sending and now we have 18 and then 17 and you can also export this data as CSV but let's talk about the true value of this dash cards like I said in the beginning of the video 
you can set them in different boards. So let's say you are a manager and you have to keep an eye on many cards, many boards. You can create your own board to act as a dashboard. Let's say you have a list that represents each of these boards that you have to keep an eye on. And inside that list, create many dash cards with different filters. And if you need to interact with a specific card, all you have to do is open one of the dash cards and click inside it, go to that card, interact with the people there, or leave a message, or do whatever you have to do on that card. There are some other settings I didn't show in the video, but I'm sure you got the idea. If you want to learn more about Trello Power Ups, click here, and if this video was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, see you soon.